Hi, it's Rich from the Let's Talk Porsche series and we're here today with our Porsche talk show, the last one of 2022, doing a bit of a roundup. We've got some news. Yeah, so big changes for, uh, for us on site. So myself, Joe, who was the Porsche Pro at Porsche Centre South Lakes, I'm now transitioning into a sales role, so I'm now a sales executive. So we've taken on the lovely Ashley. Hello. So Cheers. Ashley is our new Porsche Pro. I'm the new um, Joe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so do you want to introduce yourself, a bit about yourself? Oh, I have absolutely nothing about myself. <laughs> <laughs> what motor oh, trade experience perfect. have you got then? Um, to be fair, I've been in the motor trade a little while. Um, I originally actually come over from Sayat, but to be fair, you don't you don't get better than Porsche. So I'm quite excited yeah. to be starting here. Um, I'm training to be the Porsche Pro at the moment. Obviously, I'm still in that training um, right now. So I'm quite excited to take you all on my learning journey. It's been quite a full on <laughs> like first couple of weeks. You've already oh, been down goodness. doing training courses and all sorts, haven't you? So we've thrown you at the deep end pretty much. Oh, I know. Honestly, what a way to start. I think my very first week I was going down uh, Swindon Way and doing a little bit of off-roading, learning real-life experience of, of how all these different uh, options and, and parts of all work. And goodness. Yeah, well, well, it's pretty fun, <laughs> but I suppose it sets you up well going into next year. You're mm. getting that knowledge now, so when you hit 2023 running, basically. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, um, so Ashley's joining us in on this podcast now, um, and then obviously going in the future, she'll take over from Joe. Joe might come in every now and again. He yeah, I'll be here and there for the odd video and, um, yeah, podcast, so I'll still be about, and I'm always yeah. here at the centre, so. Yeah, if you want to come and purchase a car now, you can come see Joe. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's crack on with the, with the show. So um, 2022 has been quite a full-on year, lots of mm. cars have uh, come out over the year, lots of other stuff going on. So just do a bit of a recap. So we've had KM Platinum Edition, Panamera Platinum Edition, McCanty, Sport Classic, 911 GT3 RS. 911T. 911, mm. yeah. What, what, like, so what What more could you want in a Dakar. year? Dakar. So the Dakar. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be the highlight just for all out uniqueness, I suppose. Mm. Yeah, I think like th that launch video like gave me chills. It was such, it looked so good and it like gave like harking back to like the sort of the history of like the Dakar racing and what Porsche mm. did there. I thought that was stunning. And um, yeah, that car is going to be something else. Like I hope the customers that get them actually use them like that because I think that'll be just be epic see this like Dakar car flying around like the sand dunes or somewhere get them down at Sandside on the beach and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> around Grisdale that'd be nice yeah, yeah to like, be fair down some fire roads or some like the off-roading tracks and things like that that'd be quite cool so like X rally stage like mm. burning up through the trees <laughs> that'd be quite cool uh, but yeah and obviously you can't mention the year without the 911 GT3 RS, which was still waiting to see one, obviously, come through the centre, but they look absolute machine for the track, sort of an epic, epic car, and how much aero that car has yeah. is just stunning. Yeah, that's probably, um, I mean, the Dakar is amazing, but my heart still lies with the, the GT3 RS and the amount of adjustability on that car that a customer has, so they can really get at one with the machine, That that's the key point, that's mm. really excited to have a look at all those when they turn up. Um, other news that we've had this year though, like Porsche going strong with sustainability, wanting to have um, sort of e-fuels. They've been doing lots of research into that, a lot of news stories on that this year. They had, they were running some of the GT4s on e-fuels. Um, they've done the GT4 e-performance cars, mm -hmm. so sort of electric versions of that, which obviously is gonna be the test bed for future Boxer and Cayman electric vehicles. So yeah, they're coming down the line. So that'll be really interesting. So in the McCann EV, not long off now. Yeah, we'll, we'll so. have to wait, wait, wait and see. Might be into 2024, but it's done lots of testing, hasn't it? Mm. And mm. They're sort of they're getting there with it. And obviously Porsche's hedging the bets at the minute on electric. And I think most manufacturers are. Obviously we've got our mm. super fast chargers in now. So I bet there's lots of training that you'll be doing over the coming years oh, yes. on, on electrics and sort of electric EV cars. Yeah, all very exciting, to be honest. It's definitely the, the yeah. way forward. Something that I'm excited for on the horizon, there's nothing official. We're probably due, the, not far off, the next hypercar from Porsche. 
Mm. So, yeah, if you look at the time frames, every 10 years, isn't it? Something yeah. like that. So. And then um, big push on electric mobility. So we'd expect it to be 100% electric. Porsche do have strong shares now in Wimac and Wimac technology. Um, so, yeah. yeah. Watch and their, and their car performances on the electric front are pretty stunning. So yeah. if, if Porsche can put their technology and design ability and sports car knowledge with Rimat's electric power performance knowledge, that car's going to be something mm. else. Yeah. So, um, another bit of a recapping on this year, there's been um, Porsche getting back into Le Mans next year. So that's something to look forward to next year because they're going for the 20th win. But they announced the uh, 963, which is the new Le Mans car. So, Wonderful. Yeah, if you see that, like some images of that, it looks stunning. Mm. The... Um, they had it running up the hill, didn't they, at Goodwood this year. Um, that's where I put a cut there. Put something over the top. And then... <laughs> um, yeah, so there's been a lot this year. So that was a bit of a short recap. There's obviously loads more. If you look back on the previous episodes, you'll see sort of all the stuff we sort of went on and talked about. But there's also next year. So... Um, and there's some stuff that we've not covered since our last podcast. So I thought we'd just mention, we've mentioned the Dakar already, 718 style edition. So that was something that came out of the blue. I don't think anyone was really expecting that. Makes a good prospect of a vehicle for like all the style options, but for like the base level two litre engine. It's yeah, so keeps the car at sort of a, a lower affordability point which is nice but the styling is the main emphasis mm. and it you know ruby star neo with white wheels stripes it looks awesome stands out yeah so there's some really funky specifications people have sent in on those which is nice to see love that so. yeah and i think like what um what since you've started actually like what what have st what stood out to you what have you sort of like you've like found out when you've been sort of doing your training or you've been out on your training, you've seen something that's like really stood out like, wow, that's cool. I really like that. Honestly, I think the the most interesting thing I've been doing at the moment is learning about the... Uh, blah. <laughs> what? <Sorry. laughs> so we're just going to pl plug Ashley in and charge her back up. Yeah, just rewind. <laughs> right, start again. So what have you seen, Ashley, that sort of like really stood out to you while you've been doing your training or like that you've seen out, even someone you've seen at Centre or that you've seen down at Reading or on like the training courses that you've been on that you thought, oh, I've not seen that before, that's, oh, that's pretty cool or that was cool to do that. I tell you what, it was absolutely bizarre. Um, at the training course I've just been on the other day, uh, we were learning a little bit about the, the um, park assist and self-park options with the, the Taycan. So we were trying to park it just from the app a remote park which is something that absolutely blew my mind um <laughs> she like sat in the car please park please don't crash please don't crash please don't not crash. even sat in we were outside of a car and using our phones we were really? parking we were doing parallel park um all sorts of things like that and it's just it's just some absolute bizarre it took me back to childhood of actually parking a little remote control car yeah and it does it yeah it, very well very to be well fair. better than i can park <laughs> <laughs> That is, that is like something like you sort of think back to like when you're a kid and you're sort of thinking like, oh, what would you like have on a car? And it's like, oh, it parks itself. And you think that that is something that's coming, obviously, future down the line. Mm. Might not fully suit our brand, like self-driving cars, but it's definitely something, obviously, that's that's coming on the horizon. But Porsche, obviously, taking little bits of that, the bits that they do want to put in that people don't like, like to park a car, so let's get the computer to do it itself. Mm. So... Um, <laughs> So next year, we've got some big things sort of happening in the world of Porsche. Mm. 75 years of Porsche next year. So obviously most of you probably know Porsche started in 1948. Um, when I first started here, it was 2018. So one of my first events that I had to organise was Porsche's 70th birthday. Next year, I've got Porsche's 75th birthday, so I'm still here. So obviously <laughs> something's going right oh so God. far. Um, but yeah, so that'll be that'll be something quite cool to sort of to sort of be part in. It's also big birthday for the 9/11, 60 years of 9/11. So I think that'll be 
that'll be something quite cool to get involved mm. with. It'd be sort of cool to get an event with like mm. lineup of the like, history of nine eleven or something like that. That'll be quite nine eleven cool. only. Nine eleven no. only. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have to be, you have to be, like, it's not nine eleven. You're not invited. Yeah. <laughs> No, but you will. Everyone will be invited. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> um, and personally, it's 66 years of our relationship with, mm. with Porsche. So we started selling Porsche in 1957. So wow. this year was actually our 65th birthday. But I think we'll tie it into Porsche's birthday celebrations because that'll make it a bit more... Yeah. A bit more Double birthday bash. Yeah. Cool. Well, it was very quick episode quick recap before we get try back get back into the swing of things because we've not done one in a while um so yeah going to next year we'll hopefully do a lot more of these ashley will be yeah. getting a lot more involved very excited. a lot more um the reviews the cars the tech all sorts and obviously joe will still pop up every now and again keep his keep his toe in the, the video world <laughs> <laughs> and uh i say yeah if you want to Come and speak to Joe about cars. You can do, and if you've got any help issues that you need with your car, your tech, or anything like that, come and see Ashley. And yeah, I'll be in touch about events and stuff on our social media. So if you like, follow, subscribe to all our social media channels, and uh, we'll see you in 2023.